Shouldn't she be roaming the streets dressed like Darth Vader? Darth Vader would probably scare Emma. I was gonna go as a wizard because Robin's going as a witch, but then I decided not to go trick-or-treating at all because that would upset Robin. Now, with everything that's happened, I wish I would have went because none of this would have happened. You're talking in code. That's never a good sign. Robin lost track of Emma. She thinks that Lisa deliberately followed the Kellys and then pushed her around the corner to scare Robin. Okay, okay, first things first. Emma's okay. Yes, Emma's fine. Robin took her to Max, then she came here to tell me about it. Obviously, I was a little skeptical about it. She got mad at me up like that, and then so I went and accused Lisa. Accused Lisa of what? Dressing up in the same Halloween costume as Robin. Following her to Kelly's, and then Robin turned her head, taking Emma and pushing her around the corner. I know it sounds crazy, and when I brought it up to Lisa, she laughed in her face, and she has every right to. So why accuse Lisa in the first place? Because Robin was adamant. And with everything that Lisa's done around here, I wouldn't put her past her. She's not as innocent as everybody thinks she is. All right, so believing Lisa would mean doubting Robin, which is inconceivable because Robin's good, Lisa's bad, and you're the guilty party who cheated on his wife. Thank you very much for the non-judgmental attitude. I'm just quoting you back at yourself, Patrick. You've been saying the same thing in different ways ever since Robin found out about you and Lisa. Well, it's true. Lisa went crazy, Robin's hurt, and it's all my fault. That's it? That's your version of what happened in the alley? My version is the truth. I see. Any idea why this man Banovic would want to target Miss Barrett or why Miss Barrett would be in an alley or why Miss Barrett would be heading for some warehouse? No, no, and no. All right, you guarded Miss Barrett once before in 2007. Why? Yeah, I, <laughs> Agent Bates, I don't know what to tell you. I was a patrolman. I was assigned to guard Brenda Barrett. It lasted a short time. That was the end of it. Well, clearly not. You said you have news about the Balkan. What is it? Thank you, Detective Falconer. That'll be all for now. The Balkan almost got Brenda Barrett tonight. Didn't succeed. Close enough. Interpol is very disappointed, Detective Spencer. You were brought in to impersonate Ronan O'Reilly. You failed your assignment. Well, you can express your disappointment some other time, because right now I have reason to believe the Balkan took the civilian woman who's been helping me, and I need Interpol's backing to find her. I can't be the one to determine whether the evidence I have against Sonny is sufficient, even admissible. So you're going to bury it? Listen and learn. Who are you calling? My superiors in Washington. It's Claire Walsh. Evidence has surfaced tying Sonny Corinthos to a car bombing. Oh, yeah, I just, uh, looks like we're alone, right? Uh, yeah, Sam and Smelly are probably sleeping. Okay, I just want, uh, I, uh, just want you to know I appreciate. Uh, are you trying to say thank you? No, I'm just. Oh, you're, you're welcome. I know you had a plan and I blew it. Yeah, why don't you get some rest and we'll just figure everything out. Good morning. Gracious greetings. Shh, get in here. I keep your voice down. Sorry, what, what? Why the clandestine nature of our meeting? Because Jax and the baby are sleeping. Uh, I mean, you don't want the White Knight to awaken and find us in a tete-a-tete? -tete? If Jax comes down and he catches us, I'll tell him everything. But if he doesn't, I'm not going to tell him anything. Yes. Um, you know, I'm not sure that my master would wish me to divulge information that I know too. So, Nelly, do you doubt for one second that I'm Jason's true friend and I want what's best for him? Your intentions are most assuredly good, but... And listen to me, Jason has been under so much pressure. He has. Protecting Brenda is a full-time job. And Jason has done it, and he hasn't complained because that's who he is. He's selfless, and he's loyal to his friends. And he's done so much for us. Shouldn't we put our heads together and help him? Isn't that the least we can do for Jason? I suppose you're right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Tell me everything. Uh, um, uh, alas, the divine one, headstrong and brave.
conversation if it wasn't for my famous father crashing and burning all right this has nothing to do with your father he's not on staff here he's not my problem but i am no you're not a problem yet you're far from it you're brilliant in the or you're the best i've ever seen but this garbage that you're going through is going to catch up with you it's the same as if you were drinking yourself blind every night and then coming in to cut someone's head open it's not fair to your patients, and it's not fair to you. So what do you suggest I do? Take a leave of absence? Camp myself at Robin's feet and just ask for forgiveness? She won't even go to couples therapy with me. Well, that's her prerogative. You know, you're, you're really good at this whole... Are you, are you hearing what you're not saying? Because I am. You are so angry at Robin. Come on, I'm not angry at Robin. I just said it was my fault. Oh, yeah, I see. So you cheated in a vacuum. Robin had nothing to do with it. Lisa had nothing I to do with it. I should have known better. No question. But I can make an argument that Robin is doing nothing to help you or herself. She's not trying to forgive. She's not fighting for your marriage. She's doing zero to preserve her family, which, frankly, I find a little troubling. Unless, of course, you're beating or verbally abusing well, of her. Of course, I'm not doing anything like that. I love my wife. Then why doesn't that carry more weight with Robin? Look, I'm not saying it's easy to get over infidelity. It's not. But I'm just curious about why she's so invested, why she's so much more invested in being the wounded party than in fixing things. Because Robin has been through a lot in her life. She's had a lot of loss, and that's how she deals with it. She pushes away, she, she locks it deep down, and she just moves on to the next thing. If Robin had her way, we would be getting a divorce. We'd be co-parenting, we'd be amicable exes. I'm not ready to give up on my marriage. Robin and Emma are the most important thing in my life, and I hope I just haven't realized that too late. So they show up, there's a dead guy there, and Brenda has the gun. Yeah, uh, apparently she, the divine was disoriented. Stone Cold took the gun from her, but she remained incoherent throughout. Was she crying? Was she babbling? Uh, Anything? According to Samantha, she's... She seemed distracted by Dante. She kept questioning him in odd and curious ways. Dante? Why would she ask him anything? Well, apparently the, the Divine was talking about how Dante told her that no one would ever know and that she was not supposed to tell. That's interesting. Well, I'm sure it's of no importance. I mean, she didn't know what she was uttering. Oh, if she was going to confide to anyone, it would be Jason. She wouldn't say anything to Dante. You don't think they have a past connection, do they? I mean, is it possible that Brendan and Dante knew each other before he moved to Port Charles? Look, the Balkans have been testing my loyalty this whole time. You still might believe I'm Ronan O'Reilly. You don't know for sure. No, my we don't know for sure. But what we do know is that you are no longer of any use to Interpol, Detective Spencer. And as you cowboys like to say, we're cutting you no, no, loose. No, you can't do this. I'm this close. Oh, this young woman that you brought into your personal fiasco, she's your problem, not ours. Paul just took me off the case. And Siobhan is missing. Well, uh, I just got an email sent to my PCPD account addressed to Detective Lucky Spencer. What is it? Surprised to see me?
What happened at the police station? No, 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 I really, really don't want to hear it because um, I don't want to talk or hear anything, any reasons about anything, about anything being impossible because tonight is not impossible. Tonight is really all I want.